Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a keto review bake with me. I ordered these um, flavors. It is from O Flavors. So it's O-O-O-F-L-A-V-O-R-S. These are supposed to be keto friendly flavoring for your cooking and baking. I got the keto flavor pack. It came with cornbread, French toast, maple syrup, and cinnamon roll. Yum. Um, they're made, they're sugar free, no carbohydrates. The ingredients is popoline glycol and natural flavors. <laughs> Hi buddy, Wellington wants some attention. So we're gonna try these out today. Now this was not cheap. Not gonna lie. This four pack was $12.99 with free shipping. I got them on Amazon. Um, but they're supposed to be concentrated and if they're good, it's worth it to me. Now on the back is a recipe for cornbread and that's what we are gonna make is some cornbread and it calls for 10 to 15 drops of this flavoring. So I'm gonna flip you around, we're gonna make it and then we're gonna try it. So one second. Okay. So we're gonna open this up and take out the cornbread flavor. And it also has, oh neat. My order was proudly packed by Claudia. How awesome is that? Um, so we're gonna take out the cornbread. Now, um, Cooking Keto with Christy, you know I follow her. She uses corn extract, but it's really expensive. So I'm like, well, this is really no different. But this is corn bread flavor concentrate. So we're gonna try it. It's a little tiny bottle. Now, and the recipe is on the back of the packaging. This calls for a cup of almond flour, three quarter teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, two large eggs, two tablespoons of butter, and a fourth of a cup of full fat sour cream. So that's why this is, I gotta get my butter, a keto friendly recipe. It's almond flour. Now, I did go through a mesh sieve because almond flour can be lumpy. And then I don't, and it calls for the 10 to 15 drops of this, and then it calls for some of their liquid sweetener, but I don't have any of that, so I just use some of my sweetener. Um, so we're, I preheated the oven. This calls for muffins. I'm gonna bake mine in a little tiny pan because I would like, like, squares. It doesn't matter. So first thing we're gonna do are the wet liquids. So we've got the two eggs, and I'm gonna whip them into the two packets of sweetener and the butter and sour cream. But let me whip up these eggs real quick just to get them. Now, the next time I make this, I have a lot of recipes like this that I use and you whip the eggs and it gives it a little more volume. But I'm gonna follow their recipe exactly. But you always wanna whip your eggs up really good or you're gonna end up with like eggs strewn through your recipe. Okay, there's my eggs. We're gonna whip up the butter in here and I melted it and then I let it come to, you know, cool off. You don't wanna put hot butter in eggs because what will happen is you will end up with scrambled eggs. Quarter of a cup of the sour cream, full fat, oh, there's the oven. I thought it called for a cup, so I had a cup measured and it's always a good thing to read your recipe twice. All right, so I'm gonna lay that over here. Oh, and then our drops. It says 10 to 15, I wanna take a sniff. Smells like bread. So the 10 is like one dropper. I put 15 in. Do you know what this smells like to me? Butter popcorn Jolly Ranchers. Uh, not Jolly Ranchers, Jelly Bellies. I don't know why, but that's what it smells like. I had dropped some egg back there. All right, so we're gonna whip all this together. You can use a mixer, but I don't feel it's necessary. 
for this little bit. You just want to make sure all your ingredients get blended together. Let me smell. It smells like cornbread, guys. All right, so here's my cup of almond flour and um, salt baking soda. Baking powder. Powder, not soda, guys. Powder. Now, what we're going to want to do... Hi, buddy. Is stir this up. You want to make sure all your ingredients really get blended together. You don't want to take bites of stuff and get a whole mouthful of baking powder and all that. So I always just try to stir it at each step. So there we go. It's pretty mixed in. Now I'm going to use a spoon for the remaining. And the fun thing is, since this is not actual flour, you can just dump everything in there. And what I mean by it's not flour, this is not absorbent like flour would be and gluten and all of that. So this is also gluten free. Fun fact, and I've said before, if you're keto, strict keto, you're gluten free. Now, gluten free is not keto. Keep that in mind. Um, just because something is gluten free doesn't mean it's zero carbs, but something keto should be gluten free because gluten is full of carbs. Okay. So what we've got is the consistency of a pancake batter. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I always use so many dishes, guys. And let me tell you, am I the only one quarantining that is like running my dishwasher once a day? What is up with that? I live alone, guys. Why am I running my dishwasher like a maniac? All right. Let's move this over here. I'm excited to try the other flavors, which is why I got like a little tiny variety pack. Now, I don't know. Let's see. I think it's going to fill this just fine. The recipe says it makes five to six muffins. So, obviously, you can double this recipe. Not a big deal if you want more. But let's try it first. Because then, like I said, the next time I make it, I'm going to substitute some oat fiber in my isopure to get those carbs down. But I want to review their, their recipe and their flavoring. Okay, I'm touching it, but A, my hands are clean, and B, I'm the only one eating this. So I can do that. Okay. I did spray my pan with... Um, coconut cooking spray and you really want to always tap your batter even if you're not keto get those air bubbles up and out now the recipe says to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes that's for muffins I will start this at 20 and when I get it done I will let you know it does smell like cornbread I keep smelling it all right let's bake this up okay it came out of the oven we have a little cracking but I think that's normal for cornbread Almond flour cornbread? Yeah. Um, took about 30 minutes to make this pan. Now, the, this is a tiny tot little container, just so you know. Um, but it will make six muffins, because that's what we're going to cut it into six servings. But it has to cool, so we'll let it do its thing, and then we'll be back. Okay, it's baked, and here is the product. Cornbread, ooh, oh flavor, I think it's called. Let's see, ooh, ooh. Oh flavors. And this is their recipe, so let's see. Look at all the aeration. That's nice. Tender looking. Now we're gonna try it and see how it tastes. Okay, again, it's O flavor extract. And this is tiny, but honestly, I mean, it didn't take a lot of essence to make this bread. So let's see how it tastes. Got a good, ooh, I'll just throw it. It got a good rise on it. Look how soft it is and airy. 
feels very moist. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. No grain to it at all. It's very moist. Tastes like cornbread. Doesn't have the cornbread feel to it, like that toughness, but it's definitely worth it. It's really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And maybe a couple more drops of the extract next time, or of the flavor. But I give it a thumbs up, and the recipe is delicious. So if you're thinking about getting some of this, at least the cornbread is delicious. And the recipe's not bad either. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed, and you too can make some cornbread for your Easter meal or anytime. All right, guys, bye.